In the middle of last year, 2021, after taking a break, I had started to play Rust again, and I had no clue what was about to happen. It was never planned. There was never any intention. There was no thought other than to build a four-bedroom role-player house on a role-play server. The server wiped early, and because of that, everything that's followed has led me to this point. To this moment of me sitting in front of a rust campfire, trying to find the right combination of words to say that will that will make sense of this journey I've been on and I continue to travel. In this video, I want to share with you a bit about myself and why this video exists at all. So let me start out by introducing myself. I'm Swift Coyote, and I created the Room of Death. Now, what is the Room of Death? Great question. Take a moment right now and check for a link in the video description to Mike the Vikes channel where he showcased it for me. He did an absolutely amazing job editing that video. So please pause this video, go watch Mike's and come back. Things will make more sense. Welcome back. So now that you've seen the Room of Death in action, I want to answer the next most common question. Why did I make it? And that all starts with the four bedroom house that didn't get finished because the server wiped early. I jokingly said on Discord that I wish there was a place I could go and die for the last time. And someone suggested building a suicide booth. You know, like the suicide booth from Futurama when Fry meets Bender. And that was it. The idea was born. And what started out as a simple one by one, six weeks and about 160 hours later, I had that, what you just saw. Now, the video was never planned, but along the way, people told me I should make a video. And I would just brush the idea off because one, there was never any intention of making a video, and two, I didn't know how to. However, after a couple dozen people mentioned you should do something, it would be unwise to ignore it. So I reached out to Mike, and at the time of this recording, that video has reached over 180,000 views. When that video went live and people started asking if I made videos or subscribed to my channel asking me to make videos, I really started to take this a little bit more seriously. So I invested some money into storage for my computer so I'd have room to record. I began learning how to use OBS, how to capture audio on different tracks, how to edit in a, um, DaVinci Resolve. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And I never would have done it if it wasn't for all of you that's encouraged me. If it wasn't for all of you, I wouldn't be here in front of a rust campfire looking for the right combination of words to say that will make sense of this journey that I've been on and continue to travel. So what comes next? I'm releasing the blueprint for the Room of Death accompanied by a breakdown video. There will also be a video specifically made for vanilla servers. Actually, what I'm sitting in right now. And I also have some footage from Last Wipe that I was using to learn how to edit with. Now, when it comes to electrics, I do have a Room of Death version two in the works and something I'm calling the Playground, nicknamed the Butterfly. I don't know when it'll be done, but I will conclude by saying, do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. I appreciate it. 